we should be able to do it now. Everybody see it? Yep. Okay. Uh, thanks for taking the time. This, uh, this will be uh, a pretty quick run through, uh, but I think informative. Um, uh, basically, the purpose of this is to show that a custom hood, uh, the custom hood design process should not be intimidating. Um, there are various, there are a couple different companies out there that can do custom hoods. Uh, we, we chose to, to highlight one of those companies that we think probably does it best. Uh, but know that this process that we go through uh, isn't just unique to modern air, although I think they have the process down pat the best. Um, basically, um, why, I guess, do a custom hood? We'll, we'll start there. Um, every, every kitchen needs ventilation. Um, I would say percentage-wise, 50% of our hoods that we do uh, are stainless steel. Probably 40% are what's called a custom hood insert. So usually it goes into a, into a millwork cabinet. And that leaves about 10% for the custom side of things. Um, and from a design standpoint, and trust me, this is probably the last thing that I talk about when it comes to design and it's not my forte. Um, you know, I see people wanting to do custom hoods to really make a statement. Uh, they really can dominate or or really show off and make the the range and the hood the focal point of a kitchen, and we really can draw attention. And um, something to consider throughout the process if you have a client looking for that wow factor. Um, yes, you can put a 60-inch wolf range to really dominate a kitchen space, but you could also do a very stylish 36-inch chimney hood that isn't going to break the bank. That that's a custom piece, you know, with certain finishes, banding, trim, straps that really can set off a kitchen and not break the bank. Um, a little bit about modern hood. Uh, I'm sorry, about modern air. Uh, they're based in California. Um, they, they were founded in the late 1950s um, and are a third generation family run company. Uh, just a couple inspiration shots on what modern air can do and what any. Uh, on what you can accomplish with a custom hood. Um, so uh, starting in the 60s, they, um, you know, um, were making hoods and really didn't get into the, the, the customization until the early 90s, but that is the focal point of their business um, and is probably about 90% of what they do right now. Um, in terms of, um, you know, hand-built, they are hand-built. Their factory is in Hollywood, and um, they, you know, make everything from start to finish, bending the metal. It's all done in the shop. Uh, there's really no, no parts other than the, the metal that's outsourced. Uh, it's all done in the U.S. Uh, every hood's assembled by hand, uh, and uh, in about eight to nine weeks is what the rough turnaround time is. Uh, what you see here in the photo is um, is a uh, hood finished in a black powder coat with brass accents. Um, so, uh, with with Modern Air um, and any really custom hood company, there's standards uh, in terms of height, um, height, width, and depth, and those really mirror standard uh, cabinetry um, and kitchen design. So, um, you know, those standard dimensions are really what you're going to find in a stock hood. But if you have specific applications, you have a vaulted ceiling, you have something unique, a custom hood company can make, you know, something with, with a custom height, width, and depth uh, to fit any application. Um, with that comes over 100 color combinations, 16 different materials, uh, which we'll get into. Um, here's just a, a smattering of what you can do when it comes to 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 colors. Uh, those of you familiar with the RAL color chart, um, you know I think there's over 180 different different colors there. Um, you can um, you know certainly um, do it. In any any, uh, any of the colors in the RAL chart will um, also do that. You can also send samples. I've had uh, I've had clients send a sample of fabric that they want to mirror. And they'll they'll do a custom color match, and there's a process to where they'll send it back to you, 
and 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 you'll agree with the, the match or not and and there's a back and forth so that you can get that custom color right um in terms of materials and color samples modern air is is fine sending you out samples so if you have a client who is interested in in a couple of different colors they'll send you samples overnight them and and you'll have them to be able to you know help in the selection and design process So a couple of different ways the, the, the hoods are made, uh, them being three different main types, seamed, simulated seamless, and seamless design. The photo in front of you is a seam design. Um, the front and sides are bonded together, leaving a small seam. Um, this is common construction in most off-the-shelf hoods. You have a simulated seam. Um, pretty neat look where the front and sides are bent uh, from one piece of metal. Um, if you look closely at the corner of the four inch lip, um, no seams visible on the vertical plane, uh, but you can see a small seam on the top and underside. You can also do seamless, which is I think the coolest. Um, everything's basically welded together and then they have a high finished sort of process to basically buff out um, all the imperfections and make a really nice sleek, um, hood that's it's very laborious so it's a little expensive but um, just beautiful curves and great design there's uh, some other inspirational pictures it's a pretty cool um, I believe that's a uh, that's a brass finish on the left there and you have a nice mirrored finish uh, Laura you have a question no, I was clapping. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm away. Clapping. <laughs> I really um, like the brass one. <laughs> yeah, the brass is, is sharp. Um, so um, basically, um, how does the design process go or how, how does the custom hood process go? And I'll sort of step you through. So usually we start with inspirational images. Um, Modern Air has an Instagram account, um, but a lot of, you know, inspirational images either come from you to the designer or from the client. They may have found something on house or uh, on, on something online. And that's a great jumping off point because, you know, we can rule in and rule out what they do and don't like from a look. And if they like an element in one picture, but they like a different element in another, we can combine them. And um, so starting with the pictures is great. That helps me, um, or your sales rep kind of bring it to modern air and say, this is what the client's thinking. What, what hood, hood style should we start with? And that starts the process of, okay, you know, here's, here's the basic shape that we want to start with. And then comes us talking about the dimensions. And I'll skip ahead a couple slides to show you. Whoop. So we'll start with the dimensions. And it'll give you um, sort of an idea in, of the general shape. And then we'll get into a process of um, quoting. And this allows us to go through uh, with you and the client and basically say, in, in theory, I want it to be this wide, this tall, this high, with this finish, with these straps, with these accents, et cetera. And within 24 hours, normally, Modern Air generates a shop drawing like this. Um, this helps you review with the client, make changes. You can mark up this drawing. We'll do second revisions um, and third revisions sometime. And this is the document that we basically will use to sign off on the order. Uh, pretty cut and dry, helps everybody know what's going on and get um, everything together. I jumped ahead of myself there, so I'm going to skip back. So. Um, some of the ins and outs that may not be design oriented, but you should know about, we um, have the ability to put internal blowers into these hoods up to 2,400 CFMs, which is a lot of power. Um, so uh, really enough power to go over any type of cooking product. Uh, if those hood or blowers need to be remoted uh, to reduce noise, they can be put in attics and crawl spaces and even on roofs. So we have the ability to kind of uh, put the blower wherever we want based on the application. Um, you know, you guys have seen a standard hood and what it looks like from the underside. Modern Air is no different. They have a, a good baffle filtration system, nice, clean look. It's going to capture your grease and enough lights uh, to be able to, to be able to illuminate what's under it. 
uh, if your client doesn't like the pro baffles, they have a more sleeker mesh as well. Um, this is just an example of, of what they can do with upper crown molding. Um, we we did some uh, we did a hood like this on our showroom floor. I'll have to take a, a picture and send it to you. Uh, we did it in a blackened steel, which was very sharp. Um, it had some really cool stuff done on the on the upper end of the hood with crown molding. Um, it almost looks like a cabinet. Um, really, really neat, cool design. Um, this is just an example of what we can do with pot rails, uh, corner bands. You can even put heat lamps in these hoods um, to be able to warm plates while the, the customer's prepping dinner. Um, so Monitor has a website, like everybody else does, that, that uh, are full of inspirational pictures. Uh, again, good place to start um, with a client to look at what can be accomplished. But again, um, any inspirational pictures you can find elsewhere can be incorporated into what Modern Air can do. Um, you, we actually had a client who um, couldn't really decide what they wanted, but could only express it uh, in writing. So they were artistic enough and they drew what they wanted to do. And they scanned that drawing to me, sent it, and I sent it to Modern Air. And, and within about a week, they shopped a, a, a completely catted, hood of what the customer wanted. And uh, it, they were blown away. So um, again, if you can draw it, they can build it. Um, here's a, just a link to Modern Air's Instagram uh, for some inspiration of what they can build. That's a real sharp um, hood. I think that is a, um, hmm, looks like a matte black with a brass accent. Um, Cool thing about Modern Air, rated for indoor and outdoor use. If you have outdoor kitchens, um, you know, that need ho uh, hoods over the grills, we can do them with Modern Air. There's an example of the sign-off um, materials. Uh, one of the uh, things that, that Modern Air has been doing, if you uh, have ever sold a La Cornu or spec a La Cornu, La Cornu um, Chateau ranges are, are expensive in themselves, but their hoods are no, uh, are no, no not inexpensive either. And, uh, We've done a lot of chateau ranges with modern air hoods over top and they, they, they really pair well together. There's some more inspiration in what you can accomplish. Um, what I like on the, on the hood on the right, that's called a quilted pattern. If you see on the lip of that hood, that's a, um, almost like a patchwork quilt. Um, we actually incorporated that on our showroom floor just to show what what they could do. This is the only custom hood company that I've seen that could do something like that. Really unique and cool. Some more inspiration. So I'll open it up to any questions. Um, just kind of to, to round out, um, the custom hood process, uh, I would say on average, Kiefer's probably does about 30 to 35 custom hoods a year. Uh, it's not the largest aspect of our business, uh, but it's a very cool one in that you, you really can give a client um, what, what they want um, and, and really make their kitchen unique. Um, you know, any hood you can buy off the shelf, um, you know, but you can really make a, a, a really nice piece. Uh, just from a budgeting standpoint, um, to know if, if sort of custom hoods are for your client. Obviously the more ornate and the more custom we get with finishes and colors, the price goes up. But, you know, I, I see modern hoods, you know, starting point anywhere from five to $6,000, you know, up to probably on average between 10 and 12,000 and anywhere in between. So it's, it's not an inexpensive, uh, you know, uh, it's not an inexpensive venture, but it's, it's, it's not going to completely break the budget, so. I'll open it up to any um, questions that people have. No? Anybody? Asa, I, I did see a couple questions in the chat. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I don't, I'm bad at this chat. So how is the custom hood finish maintained? Um, so, uh, just like stainless steel, the hood will have fingerprints on it, uh, but um, in terms of cleaning materials, um, uh, standard, um, you know, obviously if, if the finish is stainless steel, we can use um, a rag uh, with stainless steel cleaner. Um, anything that's painted, 
Um, I'd have to actually cede to David, who is a representative from Modern Air. David, can you speak to uh, what, from a cleaning standpoint, what they recommend? Yes, and it really is going to depend on the finish. Um, all the uh, different finishes that Modern Air does, there is on their website a finish cleaning and care guide for each particular finish because each finish is different on the type of materials that you're going to be able to use on it. Um, so I, I really, the general thing is you can pretty much use most household cleaners, but you need to really take a look at the specific finish. Uh, Jace, we could actually get you that information so that you have it when a customer buys something as well. Uh, Jason uh, has done something on that recently. Um, but it really depends on the finish. I think one of the other questions had to do um, uh, kind of along the same lines as far as the, um, uh, what was the other question? Uh, the other question was about noise of, of the motor. So that's, right, that's kind right. of a subjective, uh, noise is subjective. Can I ask a Everybody... question? Sure. sure, go ahead, Mary. Uh, going back to the finish, no, that was me. Um, when they get a painted hood, are they provided a touch up paint? Because if there's a scratch, you know, what do you do then? So I will, uh, uh, so I'm just going to comment on the packaging, Mary, for a second. They, uh, they take pictures of this hood before it goes into the crate uh, for shipment. And I've never seen a, a shipping process as cool as this. They spray foam the hood in place inside of a wooden crate that's like 200 pounds. So when it goes into that crate, it is perfect. When it comes out of that crate, I have not received a damaged hood from them ever. Now, will uh, can things happen upon uncrating to installation? They absolutely could. Um, they won't proactively send um, do you touch up paint, but they but certainly we have it in the past have to touch up on site. Okay, and, and that's something that that we can do. Yeah, because I know some companies are so protective of their finishes that they won't send anything out, and so the customer is stuck with a very expensive product with a big scratch, and they're not happy. Um, the other thing too on on the finishes, some of them like we saw that brass finish earlier on the one. Some of the finishes, and when a quote will come through, when Jace provides you with a quote, it'll tell you whether or not it will. Some of the finishes, like some of the brass, if they're not clear coated, they will patino over time, uh, which is a natural process, and I actually believe enhances the beauty of the uh, the metal itself uh, over a period of time. Um. To address your question, Mary, on, on hood ventilation and noise, um, as I said, noise is subjective, so everybody's expectation of, of a hood, you know, of you hearing a hood is different. Um, obviously, if noise is a huge factor for your client, the best thing we can do is to locate the blower not inside the hood, so not use an internal blower. And that blower would, would work in the, in the duct run somewhere, which can go in a basement or up in an attic. Um, I like that the best because from a service standpoint, if I need to access that blower for any reason, um, I can do so much easier than climbing on a roof to access a, a roof mounted blower. So um, the other option is obviously to put it on the roof. Uh, I not as big of a fan, although I do like modern airs roof blower. It's very sleek, but um, it, it is a little bit harder to access. Yeah, and, and if I can add to that too a little bit, Jace, uh, on the internal blowers, uh, the first slide that Jace had showed you there that has the uh, stir squirrel cage type of situation in it, uh, that piece is actually made in Germany for, for modern air. And it, it's actually a system that, uh, depending on how many CFMs, let's say we're running a 600 CFM unit, uh, depending on how many turns the duct is taking, it'll compensate for that. So it, it actually will get a little bit louder as if you have a lot of turns in the duct work going out. But if you're going straight out a wall, it's going to be much quieter too if, if you're using that type of internal blower. Uh, but as Jace mentioned, uh, one of the best ways to reduce the noise is using that inline blower that can be placed in a basement or attic or somewhere else um, because that's where the noise is really going to be is where that uh, blower is at. Thank you. All right, uh, if there's no questions, uh, I, I appreciate everybody taking the time. Um, it's, um, yeah, like I said, it, it shouldn't be an intimidating process. We've been doing it long enough that, that we can step you and your client through and uh, just keep it in mind as another option.
Thanks, Jace. I wanted to say thank you. I don't get really a chance to specify your product, but it's important for us as a you know fellow sponsor to support you guys. So. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for informing me. <laughs> yes, that was very, very well done. I love the inspiration photos. Um, it got me thinking about hoods in a completely different way. And I'm like Kira, I don't do that, but I work with a lot of designers and I'm happy to say, you know, go see keepers. Um, matter of fact, we had a client that just moved in from out of state and she had no appliances. And I said, go see keepers. That was very easy. <laughs> well, thank you for that, Laura. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, so normally at this time, we open it up 